You, you can see it too, can't you? Something behind you? No. Wait, did you steal the cat from our... What the f*** was that? Uh, uh. We back with Omari. Still play Atari. About to get bussin'. Follow these petals of blood. Where's Basil? Who is that? Is that Ness? What? <laughs> Who are we following? Welcome back to another episode of Atari. I mean, Amari. Is it snowing? Wait, what? Where's my crew? Dude. What just happened? It turned nighttime and now my crew is gone? There's nothing here. What? What do you mean there's nothing here? We just came from there. How are we going to start the episode off like this? Alone. Why are we following Ness? This is not Super Smash Bros. What's up here? Mari's cookies. Mari's cookies have much more. What? I can eat them forever? What is. I don't even have enough time to do an intro today. They really just said, nah. On to the next quest. Did I go the wrong way? We're still young. We should dream big, right? Oh, wow. This is going to get <laughs> philosophical. Oh, what do you want me to do? Hop in the car? Uh, Ness, where did you go? Oh, there he is. Bro, I I hate when spirits do this. Like, dude, you came here for a purpose. At least talk to me and tell me what it is. Because right now, you're just running away and you're hurting my legs. You know I don't be doing cardio like this. Is that the message? <laughs> do your cardio? Eat your green beans? Make sure I'm recording? Three minutes, three minutes? Okay, lock in. Don't, bro... Y'all know how I feel about Barnes ever since The Walking Dead, dude. It's the boot. Nothing. See, nothing. I don't want to play this game no more. I do not want to start crying this early in the day. But I already, I already feel it coming in my throat. Mad pause! That was, ooh, that was a traumatic game. Was that a mirror? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the realest of them all? It's me, Omari. Up the stairs of never-ending doom. But at least I can move side to side. If DK up there about to throw barrels down, you know, I got I got his number. <laughs> I'm about to weave. Ooh. Mm. I hate that sound, dude. Whoever was on the synth, that was a nasty sound. That smelled like deity farts, dude. Sheet music on a music stand. All the notes have been scribbled out. Let me see. I can decipher it. Okay, you won't let me see. I won't decipher it. A happy family. Why? Oh. I thought that was a noose. That's just a light bulb. Ooh, what is that? Whoa! Ooh, that gave me chills. I'm cold now. I need my blanket, dude. We're back in the pit of nothingness. I hate it here. You booted up your... What is that, hangman? Am I supposed to be filling these in or does it fill it in automatically? Near a cat. I found the D. Pause. I found the F too. Alright. Whatever. Let's see what's new. Oh, why did it sound like that? 
Okay, nothing new. Tissue box, right, right, right. Mr. Cat. Meow. Waiting for something to happen. Okay. Waiting for something to happen. Okay. You are never any help to me. A light bulb. Try something, Omari. I'll, I'll, I'll put I'll put this trigger to your head. I can feel my heartbeat. I don't like these little hand sperm cell things. It's like we're racing to the womb together. I don't like that. Oh, it's still following me. Okay, never mind. I juked him. What am I supposed to do, dude? Am I supposed to stab myself again? Oh, Mari. I'm, I feel like there's a deeper message, but you need to help me. That's not helping me. I know I told you to do that, but I didn't literally mean it. And I still didn't see what that picture was. It happened too fast. Paper is falling. The last day of high school. At that time, I saw everything. What, everything is a piece of papers? When you stood here before... Did you see it too? Is that basil? Something behind you. What do you mean by that? Three days left. Three days left until what? What does that mean? What does that mean? Is this Sunny again? Wait, is Omari Sunny? Hell no. Nah. Omari is cloudy, dude. Oh my god, color. Good morning. Wake up in the morning, okay? A table lamp. An old computer. Do you want to play blackjack? Yeah! This doesn't look like blackjack. This looks like instruction zone. I don't know if I have a hundred dollars. Dealer, what is a shark? Oh, I can't see, duh. I have 17, all right, let's stay. Hit. Seven, uh, hit. Stay. He is cheating, dude! Stay. There's no way. Oh, I told you, Soul Surfer, I do this. Nah, quit while I'm on top, dude. That's what I'm talking about. I'm undefeated pretty much because I didn't keep going, you feel me? I won, and then I just, like, you know, never played again. So, I'm undefeated. Yeah, quit. You feel me? Quit while I'm on top. You have a new message. Is it from Mom? Hey, Sonny. It's Mommy. How are you doing? Are you eating well? I was hoping that I could make it back to see you today, but it's the last day of the... A big fortune furniture sale and I just can't resist a good bargain I'm literally your son you can take care of yourself for a few days right three days after all you're a big boy now remember to finish your chores before I get back I left a list on the table next to your door okay that's it for now mommy loves you bye honey Blah. Now let me put my theories together. Let me let me introduce y'all to Bandage Theory, you feel me? Is Sunny the alive version of Omari? And that's why the other world is so trippy, because Omari is dead. Omari is in the afterlife. Omari is the dead Sunny, you feel me? And like I think Sunny killed himself because this this game is very uh, suicidal at times. 
So Omari is just in the afterlife, and that's what he wants to be. He has all these friends. It's all colorful. Whoop de whoop de whoop. And Sonny's world, he has nobody. His mom is over here talking about, oh yeah, I can't miss a good deal. They're selling furniture for five dollars, even though it has bed bugs. I still can't resist the deal. That's my that's my bandit theory. Don't tell me if I'm right or wrong. Just know when this ends and I'm right. Y'all owe me a soda pop. Mom's to-do list. You don't feel like doing your chores right now. Well, can I at least see what's on there? Is that the police? Who is knocking at the door? Where is my door? Hello? Hello? Sonny? Are you there? Who is this? Do you remember me? Can you say your name? It's your old friend Kel. I told you. So I, uh, I noticed the for sale sign in front of your house, and I, uh, I heard from my mom that you were moving away soon. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out one more time before you go, or whatever, for old time's sake, you know. Okay, so these friends are from the real world, but he just imagines them in the the death world. Oh, I got a, a switch? What'd you like to do? Open the door. Duh, it's Kel. Unless it's not Kel and it's an imposter. It's Keenan. Yeah, Sonny, you need to go outside. Get some fresh air. I know you smell like sweat and piss, boy. Whoa, you actually came out. Is he calling the whole gang over? Uh, I mean, okay, I'm going to be honest with you, Sonny. I really didn't expect you to come out today, so I didn't really have a good plan here. Or a game plan. Hey, I know. Let's go to Hobbies. It's a hobby shop in the faraway plaza. You remember the way, right? We used to go there all the time when we were kids. Y'all still are kids. Well, what are we waiting for? Damn, Paul Walker. Why'd you just speed past the house? Whose Yeezys are up on the, the freaking zip line? I mean, not zip line. What's that called? Uh, thing I'm gonna do. Look at the puppy! Hold up, Sonny. I know it's been a while since you've been over at my place, but now might not be a good time. What is up with y'all speed racing down the block? We're going to... We're going to hobbies. I'm about to get to hobbies. I don't know the way, Kel. Can you teach me? Where are we going? I thought I was finna get hit by a car, boy. That's the whole reason I didn't want to cross the street. I thought I was about to get flattened. It's the town plaza north of here. Why didn't you tell me that before, Kel? I don't know the way. Do I look like I have a compass? Then where, which way did you say? Far away park? Is it up here? Look at all these sports. Smells like, okay. Oh, hold up. Yo, I got, I got next. I got next, dude. Run, run it. <sighs> oh, hey, what's up? <sighs> what are you doing here, Cal? You from around this part of town? We didn't expect to see you here, Jay. Sonny, this is Jay. He's the captain of the football team at my high school. Oh, we're high school? I didn't know you played basketball, too. Eh, uh, I'm just here to kill some time. It's more of a hobby than anything. You trying out for the basketball this team? What? You trying out for the basketball team this year, Kel? Maybe you can teach me some of your tricks. Yeah, definitely. That sounds like fun. But maybe another time. My childhood friend is Sonny here. Read at a third grade level. 
My childhood friend Sonny is here leaving town in the next couple of days. Blah, blah, blah. Y'all get it. I'll definitely catch up with you later. Sure. We can set up something next week. Same time, same place. Yep, sounds good. See you then. Kel, I forgot where I'm supposed to go again. Can you, uh... Oh, that's a tree. I can't go that way. Oh, is this it? Hobby. Is this Hector? Jesus. You found a coin. That's a big coin, dude. Hobbies, right here. Found it. Let's see what you got. This song slap. I almost ripped my balls listening to this song. I fell into a split. No Molina. Well, here we are at Hobbies. It's probably been a while since you were here, but it hasn't really changed that much. It's all the same old stuff. Am I still recording? Yep. Captain Space. See? See, Omari is literally just dead sunny, dude. Captain Space Boy. And a few pet rocks, aka Hector. Except now they're vintage. He's thinking of stuff from his childhood that made him happy and brought his friends together after he uninstalls himself from the game alive. This is not a game about friendship. This is a game about adulthood. And the stresses that come with it. And this is about to get really, really sad. I don't want to start to cry, but this might get the waterworks just flowing, flowing. Actually, since we're here, I should probably buy a gift for Hero. There goes Hero. He's in college. Like I just said, this game is about childhood, but it's not. Cause I end up dying, and this game gets sad. Cause I end up just dying away. But he's coming back sometime tomorrow. He's starting to be a doctor, so maybe I should buy him some medicine? Some medicine from a hobby store? Who do you think you are, the doctor from Persona? I gotta get back on Persona, I miss playing it, dude. No, that's a horrible idea. You should help pick out the gifts, Sonny. Let's look around and see what there is. Some colorful CDs. Maybe you should play them in the jukebox. Something more sentimental. How about Space Cowboy, or Space Boyfriend? Space Boy. Because we beat them together. What's the video game? The Atari? It looks shiny and sleek. That's way too expensive, Sonny. Get your funds up. Get your funds up. Get your funds up, Kel. I love hearing all, but not that much. Bunch of small figurines. Heel would get mad at me for spending my lunch money on him. Okay. What's in this cabinet? Oh, is that it? Yes! This is perfect! Papa Chips! Chips off the old block cookbook! What? Wow, that's a mouthful. Pause. Here had a copy of this when we were kids, but our dog Hector destroyed it. Hector is the little doggo that we saw in the front yard. But now it's a rock that gets left behind. I'm putting it all together. He's going to be so happy when he sees this. But before that, we need to ask the most important question. How much does it cost? $20? This is extortion. Y'all broke, dude. Shoot, I left my wallet at home. Urgh. 
Can you swap me, Sonny? I ain't even got a wallet. I'll pay you back, I promise. Actually, no, I do. I just think I was just gambling all morning. You took Hero's gift off the shelf. And now we're gonna run out the store with it. Sonny, did you forget? We're holding a potential gift for Hero. We can't just waltz on out of here. You are such a square. Who are you? Colorful girl. People didn't come out. Okay. Hooked up to the CRT. Okay. A game called Captain Space Boy Space Adventure. It costs one dollar to play. Oh my God! You are such a square. Yes, I'll pay for it here. It's been a while since you've come around. Ah, that's Papa Chip's Chip Off the Old Block Cookbook. I know what it is. I just picked it up, dude. Sorry, that was me. I see you have good taste. Bro, if you don't ring me up so I can go play this arcade game. His cookies were my favorite. It's rare that I see another fan of Papa Chip's work. That would be $20. Thank you, kind sirs. Please enjoy. You got Hero's gift. Thanks a lot, Sonny. I bet Hero will love this. Now let me play this game. Yes, I want to play the game. Yo, I see you have your eyes on that video game. It's called... You don't think I know that. First off, it says it at the top. Yes, I know what it's called, dude. Second off, you see me buying this cookbook talking about, oh, you got great taste. I know what this game is, dude. I don't want to hear you talk. Oh, I see you eyeing it. Are you going to give it to me? Are you going to give me a free play? Shut up. It, there's a more... It retains some competitor players today. Yeah, and you're looking at one of them, dude. I... Uh, okay. If I can beat up, okay, bet, bet. Push any key to start. All right, bet. What do I have to do? Uh, oh, okay, I see. I see. Okay, but I can't go up. I need y'all to start coming down. Crisis averted. Did I win? Did I win? What's that yellow thing? What's the high score? I'm dogging you, dude. I used to play, um... What's that game called? Asteroids? I need to get an arcade machine in my future house, dog. Actually, I'm gonna have a whole arcade. What are we talking about? I'm also gonna get Guitar Hero. Dude, I'm dogging y'all, dude. Oh, okay, okay, you got me, you got me on that one, you got me on that one. Good-ish, good-ish. Listen to this alien sex soundtrack, dude. Oh my god, they got me. I wasn't even paying attention! What's the high score? Did I win? What's the high score? Did I win? Did I win? Run it back.
Did I win? Hey, tickle me impressed. Oh, yeah! Don't say I don't do this, dude! In case you don't speak, <clears throat> in case you don't speak, real nigga knees, suck my whole dick. I beat you, fair and square. Give me my prize. Here's your prize, as promised. What is it? I don't care. What is it? You got cool. Whatever. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Let's get out of here. I'm a champion. Hey, Shadi, you see that? I'm a champion. Here you all go, talking nonsense again. Where do you want to go now, Sonny? Guess there's not much to do around the suburbs, huh? Oh, how about Faraway Park? Yeah, the park. We passed it? Yeah, I remember. Sure, let's go to the park. Why did you do all that just to come back? These cars be zooming, don't they? Wait, don't go. Please. Sorry, dude. I can't help you. You're on your own. Uh-oh. There's some commotion going on over there. Let's check it out. This ain't none of my business. If you got beef with her, then talk to her for yourself, you creep. I'm begging you. Just ask her to give it back. She won't listen to me. Wait! Is that? It's ba Basil? Everything's connecting. Basil's getting bitch slapped. Leave him alone, you bully. Huh? No way we're about to lose to a dude doing 360s on a scooter in the grass. Why do you even have a scooter in the park, dude? Who's there? With a Karen haircut. A Karen Skrillex haircut. Oh, it's just Kel. <sighs> why don't you mind your own business? Well, why don't you go bother someone else, Kim? Well, aren't you acting all high and mighty? You don't make the rules around here. What's going on over there? Who is that? Is this a biker gang in the park? Whoa! Oh, that's Aubrey! Right? Right? Confirmation! This nerd Kel just showed up and thinks he can boss me around. Let's show him what's what. Kel? What do you want? Stop messing with Basil. How could you? We all used to be friends, don't you remember? Tell her, Sonny. Sonny's here? Uh, hello, I'm right here in the bag. How can you not see me? Wow, it really is you. It's been a while, but you haven't changed a bit. How long has it been since you left your house? Three years? Maybe four? Must have been nice to live in your own little bubble. Watch it, Aubrey. You don't know what it is, what he's been through. Bro, Aubrey was the one protecting me in the dream world, and now she's being the biggest bitch. Hmm, whatever. Aubrey, please, listen to me. Oh, no, nah, that's fighting words. Hey, stop that. Leave it alone, Kel. This isn't your problem. What the hell is wrong with you, Aubrey? That's not what you said, but I said it. Sonny, come on, we gotta do something. Huh. Are you guys really picking a fight? 
What was that? Did she just sand bend? Bro pulled out a Gara move. Why not? The two of you against me. How's that sound? I carry around a knife. It sounds excellent to me. Come at me. I'll take on the both of you. This is not how I expected this game to be going. Calm down. Bro, both of you just attack. 35? Okay. Oh, we did stab her. What the? Is that an... I told y'all I carry around a knife. Don't mess with emo people, dude. We're vicious. Oh, did we actually slice her? Oh, shoot. Aubrey, are you okay? You're... You're hurt. I'm fine. No, you're not. You're bleeding. Oh, wow. <laughs> Come on. We got to get you out of here. Man, roll off with your trikes. How are y'all in high school at least? And y'all have a biker gang on scooters. In high school, you can at least have your own car or a moped. At least a bicycle. Y'all are not intimidating. And what is Sanji doing in the back? I'll get you back for this. You'll rue the day. You'll rue it. Oh, they are bikes. Or no, they're scooters. I don't know. They're y'all are nerds, dude. <laughs> y'all are nerds. Well, that was really about to get messy. Good thing you had your knife, or we would have. Wait a second. Give me that. Kel took away your steak knife. Why? You shouldn't be carrying things around like this, Sonny. She's carrying around a bat, dude. That's dangerous. You're not my mom. I know I don't have one, but it's not you. Let's check on Basil. Aubrey's really changed since you last saw her. Her and her new friends have been nothing but trouble. Poor Basil. Let's check if he's okay. Where's Mari? Hello, Basil. Hey, Basil. How are you doing? Uh... I'm fine. Thank you, Kel. Right! What do you mean? I'm the one that stabbed her! Say hi, Sonny. Oh. Hey, Sonny. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Woohoo! What a happy reunion! So, did you want to hang out with us today? Oh, I'm sorry. I'd love to, but I I should probably head home. Huh? Really? Are you sure? My um my grandma hasn't been feeling too well lately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let us at least walk you home. It's been so long since we've all hung out. Oh, <laughs> all right then. Thank you. Why do I keep leading? I don't know where the house is. Basil, where's your house at? Where? That's not the way to Basil's house. Remember, Sonny? It's on the street. What? Diagonal from ours in the cr Dude. I don't know. We'll find it. How is the worm in the real world? I don't even remember my way home, dude. Diagonal from ours? Okay, so it's this one. Right? Thank God. Oh, guess which is Basil's house? There's Basil's house. It's the one with the green roof. Kel. There ain't no other houses around here, dude. You don't have to describe it. And also, it's literally the one with the entire flower shop. You want me to knock on the door for you? Oh. Um, thanks for walking me home. No problemo. If you ever need anything from me, just ask, okay? We'll catch you later, Basil. Okay. 
Where are we going now? Wait! Please don't go! Uh, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I actually have a favor to ask. Anything, Basil. What do you need? Well, you see, something important was taken from me. The picture book? When we used to be friends, do you remember how I used to take pictures of everyone? Of course I remember. Those photos meant everything to you. Uh, right. Well, Aubrey, she took my photo album and... Aubrey stole your photo album? Well, she... She won't give it back. What a scumbag! Don't worry about a thing, Basil. Me and Sonny got you covered. Do I, though? Uh... Okay, thank you. By the way, about what you said before, we're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Okay. Damn, Cal, hold up. Why is Cal so annoying in the death world, but he's like the only good one here? I'll see you later. Let the gears get to turning. I'm going to figure out the theory. Come on, Sonny. There's no time to lose. We got a photo album to find. Let's check Faraway Park for clues. Okay. So I think Kel is portrayed as the annoying one in the dream world or the death world, right? Because he's the one holding everybody together. Arby's going to find that annoying because he's like, dude, I'm beyond y'all. I'm past y'all. You feel me? So it, that leads to them clashing heads. You feel me? Like, I think I... I think y'all feel me. An artist. Okay. Ah! Oh, hi there. Thank you. I'm just practicing. That's what you call practicing? But it looks so real. I bet you could even sell that for money. Don't you think, Sonny? I didn't even see it, but sure. See? Even Sonny agrees with me. Heck, I'd buy that from you right now. You ain't got no cash. Hey, Son- Thank God, dude. I'm gonna try to get into art school next year. Oh, darn. That's too bad. That would've looked great on my bedroom wall. You really think so? My name is Mincy. What's yours? I'm Kel, and this is Sunny. Hi, Kel and Sunny. It's nice to meet the both of you. It's nice to meet you too, Mincy. Huh. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. You're the first person to say something positive about my drawings. Sometimes when I'm feeling down, it makes me question myself, and it gets hard to move my pencil. No way! I don't believe that at all. I really think your drawing is great. You wouldn't be able to do that in a million years, or I wouldn't be able to. Don't be so hard on yourself, Mincy. Me and Sunny believe in you. Yeah, you're right. I just gotta shake off the bad feelings. I'll, I'll try to buckle down and finish this now. That's the spirit. See you around, Mincy. You got this. Now, who is this standing by the trash, dude? You got trash. Oh, smelly hobo? Could you spare a few nickels? Really appreciate it. Man, take this dollar. Yeah, man. Take this dollar. Go get you some Dove soap, dude, and some deodorant. What are we oh, we're looking for the photo book. <laughs> Looks like Aubrey isn't here. Why is that tree shaking? Ah, oh, wait. I know you. Your name is Charlie, right? I see you hang around Aubrey sometimes. Why is the tree still shaking? 
You know where she is? Well, she went to the hospital. I just stabbed her. You know, Charlie, I can tell you're not really the mean type of person. Arbor took something important from Basil, and we need to get it back. Is there any way you can help us? Yeah, what's in the tree? Okay, Rock Lee, why'd you just punch the tree? <laughs> what? Where are you? What? Who, what, and where now? Why'd you do that for? If it isn't Kel and that weird knife kid, we're the adversaries for the great and mighty angel. Finally, it is time for you to meet your doom. Angel, we don't have time for this. We just wanted to find Aubrey. Do you know where she is? You seek Aubrey, do you? Interesting. I will tell you what I know. But first, you must defeat me in battle. But I don't want to punch a kid. I will. Oh, he took a stance. He took a stance. It's time to, it's time to buckle down, dude. Look at this dude. He's not even in the screen. Bro, beat him up. Yep, 37 damage. Did he just karate chop me? Can I have my knife back, dude? First aid kit, okay. Bro, Kel, give me my knife back. You surprised me, Kel. You would make a worthy rival for my master if you don't sit down with all that. Charlie is standing there. Charlie don't do not want to be here, dude. That's exactly why I'm not even attacking him. We're just beaming a basketball at him. Sniff. You. <laughs> You'll pay for this. Yeah, Charlie don't give a damn. How could this be? My training was all for nothing. Calm down, Rock Lee. Ah, my head hurts. You're the one who started it. Where's Aubrey? You... This is how some people be acting, too. It'd be like, Oh, man. I started it, but now I'm gonna be the victim, bro. Angel, I'll beat you again, dude. Okay, Angel. It's time to be serious now. We beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. <sighs> a promise is a promise, I suppose. I will honor my words and tell you what I know. The truth is, Aubrey is some... This nigga done pissed me off. 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 Angel, fuck you. It's not even sure where she is. Dang it, Angel. You better not be messing around, or else. I told you I'd tell you what I know. And the truth is, I don't know anything. You better tell, tell us where she is now. Or else I'll tell everyone about the time you wet your bed at summer camp. I really don't know. Maybe you can ask my master, the Maverick. What? Logan Paul is in this game? He's the keeper of all knowledge. He told me that himself. Bro, who is the Maverick? You know? <laughs> you mean the weird kid, Mikel? Don't you dare call him by that name. He would take great offense to that. I see. So, it is him. Where can I find the Maverick? I'll tell you what I know, but you'll have to fight... Thank you. Master went to the fountain at the faraway plaza. 
He said he was gonna go meet some girls there for a date or something. Okay, I bet. Disgusting. Come on, Sunday, let's go to Faraway Plaza. Okay, I bet. That's where we went to the Hobbies store. I can't even be mad. This fool got two slimmies on his arm. You feel me? He may be crazy, but it's still working. And then I told him, it's not Maverick. It's the Maverick. Oh, the Maverick, you're so... Oh, God. He's, he's really... Like, you can't even hate. He's really spitting game with two Slimmies to the point that they're okay with sharing this Sanji wannabe. Ooh, what an amazing story. The Maverick. Girls, girls, please. That is enough for me to go around. Yo, Malachi, whatever your name is, Mikel, what are you doing? If it isn't Kel, my arch nemesis. Finally, here to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time for this, Mikel. We're looking for Aubrey. Have you seen her around? Stop calling me that! I cast away that name a long time ago! Mikel, do you know where she is or not? Again with that godforsaken name. How dare you make a fool out of me? I, the Maverick, will not stand for this. Prepare to face your doom. Kel, give me my knife back. Watch this, ladies. I'll wipe the floor with this loser. Please, Mikel, don't do this to yourself. I'm going to ask you one more time. Fight me, you wad. Don't be a chicken. <sighs> Are you really going to do this? Okay, then. Come on, Sonny, let's take him down. Kel is tired of this city. Uh, is he drunk? You pitiful fool. You don't stand a chance against the Maverick. Kel, you are taking all the damage, dude. Ugh. Sonny just punched him in the chest. I'm gonna have to heal. Kel feels angry. Oh, wow. 13. Not bad. But this fight is just getting started. Uh. No, I don't want to use that yet. We're just going to keep attacking him. <laughs> I don't have any moves. Kel, we're going to have to heal you eventually. 46 damage. Okay. 11 damage. As expected of my rival, but I must tell you, while you were fooling around and playing sports, I was honing my techniques just for this moment. You'll never reach my level of skill. You're going down, Kel. Okay, now it might be time to heal you, Kel. <sighs> Is that all you've got? I've only been using 10% of my power. Behold, my final form! You get punched in the chest. Uh, okay. Use this on Kel, and then Kel, you just attack. Yeah. Yeah, just, <laughs> just keep attacking him. I bet you're regretting your decision now. I'm just way too cool for you. You're nothing but a loser. Bro, you're literally about to die. Smile seductively, what? It's only a matter of time before you tire yourselves out. My victory is imminent. I'll admit, I'm impressed, but you're still light years away from defeating me. Bro, I'm about 30 seconds away from defeating you, like. Let's get this over with. Yep, sock him with the ball. Kel, you're just taking hella chops, dude. Ugh, ugh, no. This is impossible. Uh, improbable. 
Absolutely. I can't even see that because it's going too fast. Un inconceivable. Yeah, sock him in the chest. Shut up. Yep. Finish him off. Pause. Yep, just beam that ball at him. We're done. Let's wrap it up and go home. Uh, uh, no. I won't let it in like this. Well, it did. In front of the hose. Yep, get on your knees and, and bow. It can't be over for me. People of Earth. Let me... Wh what? Is he going Super Saiyan in the middle of the plaza? Ew. What is with this guy? He's so lame. He calls himself the Maverick. What did you expect? He's been doing the same thing. He hasn't changed up. What are you talking about, girl A? This isn't worth $10. Oh, he's paying y'all. <laughs> Bro, all you had to do was stand there. Yeah, that's worth $10. That's going to be like the easiest $10 you ever make. Please come back. I have more money. Huh. What? Is this hair fake? <laughs> I blinked and I missed it. Mikkel? There's no one here by that name. Please. I'll never ask you for anything again in my life. Just tell me where Aubrey is, and we'll go. Okay, fine. I do know... I do happen to know where she is, and I'll tell you. On one condition. You must call me by my one true name. The Mav! That's like calling another dude daddy, dude. Like, no, I'm not doing that. Mikkel, tell me where she is. Oh, forget it. Let's just find Kim and she'll probably know where Aubrey is. Her advanced are... Okay, major sugar head, so... I have a hunch they're probably somewhere near Candy. As we just leave them there. Off to Candy. Where's Candy at, though? Where's Candy at, though? What is that? Oompa Loompas, dude? Okay, no explanation. <laughs> we'll just follow him. Is this Candy? This is a church. Looks like they're setting up for sermon. You don't really want to spend your last day hanging out at church, do you? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Hallelujah! Dude, where did they go? And where am I supposed to go? Where is Candy, dude? Somebody's in here, though. There's a bike here. Arby's old blue bike. Okay, so you don't want to check in the church? Wait! Don't tell me it's literally in here. Just to the right. I've been wandering around this entire town. Going to road end after road end. And I literally came into the grocery store and went to the left to get medicine. And it's like, obviously, it has to be here, bro. All the shops are here. No one Kim and Vance. They're probably somewhere around here. They're right there, aren't they? The only two people in the store. Hurry, Vince. Let's shove it all in our... Okay. <laughs> hey, Kim. Have you seen Aubrey anywhere... Shoot, it's that nerd Kel. Come on, Vance, we gotta go. Kel, why did you let them run by you? Well, hold on there. That's what I'm talking about. Kel is about it. I don't think you paid for those. Get out of my way, nerd. You don't know me. Hey, 
Hold on. I'm not here to snitch. We just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is? Huh? Aubrey? I don't know anything about that. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Uh, I've had enough of this for today. Kim, let's make a deal. You tell me where Aubrey is, and I won't turn you in for stealing that candy. That's what I'm talking about, Kel. I thought you said you weren't a snitch. And I don't need to be if you're just going to tell me where Aubrey is. You two again. I thought I told you to never come back in my... Come back in here. Uh-oh. Hand over the stolen candy. Don't make me call the cops on you kids again. We've been busted. Fine. Here's your stupid candy. As I throw it on the floor. And we get no information. Come on, Vance. Let's get out of this dump. Serves you right. Kel, we didn't get any information, though. So, don't brag. <laughs> Wait. How do we find where Aubrey is now? Now it clicks. Uh, come on, Sonny. Let's follow him. I don't even know where they went. Hold up a sec, Sonny. I think I have an idea. What, lure them with candy? Let's go catch him, Kim and Vance. How did you pay for that when you've been saying you didn't have money this entire time? You literally said you left your wallet at home. So you're a liar. Sorry, Vance. No candy today. No. Not again. I don't know how much longer I can last. We're going to die. All right, Paul Blart. Let's just go home. We're going to be late for dinner. I got your candy. Give us the info. Wait, Kim. I have something for you. What the heck do you want, you bully? Tell us where Aubrey is, and I will give you this whole big bag of candy. Really? A whole bag? I mean, wait. You can't just buy us off of candy. Who, who do you take us for? I don't know, Kim. We haven't had candy for an entire week. And there's a whole bag right in front of us. We don't even have to pay for it. Can you at least ask if he has taffy in there? Stop it, Vance. We have to stay strong. When we were going to Dad's house, we'll be able to have all the candy we want. Okay. I'll do it for you, sis. Kim, Vance, I'm waiting. Huh? Like we'd accept candy from a bunch of nerds. Aw, oh, man. Really? I was sure that would work. This is a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Wait. Please, Kim. You're the only lead we've got. Please take the whole bag of candy. We, we even have Taffy in here. Did someone say Taffy? I see. That changes everything. Fine. You really want to know that badly, huh? Let's settle this with our fists. Why do all y'all want to fight? If you win, I'll tell you where Aubrey is. But if we win, you give us that bag of Taffy and never talk to us again. Right, why do we need to fight? Just take the bag and give us the information, dude. But, I want to, okay, fair enough. At least they're honest. Come on, put them up, you two. It's time to duke it out. Uh, who's with you guys in fighting? Well, I guess we have no choice. Come on, Sonny. You know the drill. Can I level up first? This kid has a full cigarette in his mouth and you couldn't afford some candy? Alright, let's run it. Let's go. Yep, hit him with the ball. <laughs> oh my god, Cal, you're getting nuked. 
Oh my god, Kel, you're really getting nuked. Kel, take this. And then get Kim. Yep, use the bandage. Yep. 35, nice. Oh my god, you are getting wrecked. Oh my god, you are really getting wrecked. Kel, take this other bandage. Wait, did I use it on Kel? Oh, I, I almost used it on me. And you missed. Kel, you are getting bodied, dude. What do I even have? Removes emotion and heals some heart? Okay, so that only works on me, duh. Kel is blacked out. Okay, now I'm getting punched. Great. Great. I'm getting whacked, dude. You're so nervous. Bro, can I have my knife back, dude? That's what I need. Sonny feels sad. Wait, no, I feel sad. Uh, bro, calm yourself down. Oh, okay, nice. Jesus, dude, I am, I'm getting lit up. Oh my God, I'm really getting lit up. And I'm not doing Jack Diddley. All right, level up that heart. And he's just gonna knock it back down again. Oh my God. This is good. This is gonna be a long fight. Never mind. So, uh, can we get that taffy now? Was I supposed to? Why doesn't Kel just give me my knife back? My character isn't, Sunny isn't leveled up enough because I don't have a knife. Dude, you have a basketball. At least give me something like a baseball or a brick. Maybe that'll teach you to mind your business. Come on, Kim. We gotta go home. It's almost time for dinner. And Mom's gonna be really mad if we're late. Shoot, let's get out of here. Wait, don't go. Please, Kim. I know where Aubrey is. Or I know you know where Aubrey is. She... She took something really important from Basil. I get that you guys are friends and stuff, but even you gotta admit that Aubrey goes too far sometimes. Please, we're just trying to help a friend. What if he's like, don't care? Aubrey's at. I literally said that. Her bike is outside. Why didn't we go in, dude? I knew she was there. The one near her house. Duh. Aubrey's at church? Hey, don't look at me. You're the one who wanted to know. Also, if she asked who told you, tell her it wasn't me. Say it was McKellar's. <laughs> okay. Come on, Kim. We got to scoot. You know how mom gets when we're late. The fact that we were literally at the church and her bike was outside. I literally went up and clicked on it. While I wasn't looking, those two got some sticky fingers. Oh well, at least we know where Aubrey is now. Or at least, I think we do. Can't really imagine Aubrey at church, but I'll believe it when I see it. We need some heels now though. If I had known it was going to go like that, I wouldn't have used up all our resources. I don't even think I got any more bread on me. Thank goodness I have amazing memory and I remember where the church is. I feel like, the, oh, I actually did remember. I actually do have really good memory. <laughs> well, here we are. I know we've been here before. This really is the last place I would expect her. 
Well, let's go in. I'm kind of skeptical, actually. Well, here's what we can do, Kel. We can open the door, and we can look inside. And if she's in there, great. And if she's not, then we'll go back to Mikel. You can call him Miho or whatever he wants to be called. And then we can find the place. Like, move out my way. It might be a trap. Yeah, a trap from the Lord? What are you talking about? Move out the way. Hmm? Looks normal to me. I know, we've been here. I think they're in the middle of sermon. Oh, wow, yeah. Everything's adding up. We saw them setting it up, remember? Like, 10 minutes ago? There she is, on the right. She's just sitting there. That's what you do in church, Kel. You, you sit and you pray and you listen to the sermon. Can we go inside now? So weird. Yeah, I feel pretty bad about interrupting this. We should probably wait till sermon is over or something. Well, well how long do we have to wait, dude? Hold on, Sonny, let's... Well, what do you want me to do in the meantime? Kel, you be pissing me off, dude. Alright, the cemetery is back here. Statue of a religious figure. You feel as if it's judging you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Bro, get me in the church. Oh, we were talking about waiting until the sermon's over. Let's just go in. Uh, where did Kel go? There he is. Whoa, I didn't expect you to just walk in like that, Sonny. Bro, what do you mean? Well, there's no turning back now. Come on. We have to be really quiet. You're the one talking. There she is on the right. Yeah, I, I got that. And those those Mormon kids, whatever. Let's walk to the pew behind her. Aubrey. Psst. Bro, you're the one that said you didn't want to interrupt this. What the? What the heck are you guys doing here? We want you to give Basil's photo book. You're still on about that? That's none of your business. Really? None of my business? We all used to be best friends, but now this is none of my business? Yeah. Exactly. We used to be friends. You know, Mari would be really sad to hear this. Is Mari dead? Huh. Really? You really want to bring Mari into this? Who cares what Mari thinks? Mari's dead. I knew it! Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? I get that you have new friends now, but you just can't forget your old friends like that. My old friends? My old friends weren't there for me when I needed them. Ooh, this is getting spicy, y'all. I should have brought my popcorn. I didn't know it was gonna get. We were gonna have inter inter friendship conflict. I I missed it. When Mari passed on, we were all dealing with our own stuff. We were kids. It was hard. You think it's all so simple? You always been simple, Kel. So what if I am? I'd rather be simple than be like you. How could you do that to Basil? You know how important his photo album is to him. It's important to all of us. That doesn't mean you can just steal it. Is that what Basil told you? I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? That photo album belongs to Basil, and I'm not leaving until you agree to give it back. <sighs> You're so persistent. When Mari died, you moved on so fast. You know why I come here every week? Even after all this time, I'm still trying to find some peace. But it doesn't look like that's happening today. We haven't talked in four years, Kel. 
a lot changes in four years. You and Sonny think you can just barge back into my life and tell me what to do. Don't be so naive. You might look different and act different, Aubrey, but you're still the same person. Hmm. The Aubrey you knew is long gone. And the Aubrey that was your friend, don't say it. She's long gone too. I thought she was going to say it's dead. That would have been a hard line. Omo, hit me up to be on your writer's team. I would have made that sense hit even harder. Okay, fine. I get that you're angry. Look, if it's an apology you want, here. I'm sorry, okay? I should have been there for you when we lost Mari. I know all the old people and they're like, Shh, bro, we are knocking on death's door right now. We're trying to get our praise on so we can get up into heaven. And y'all are disrupting my cheese and my chakras. No. Ooh, that was a great music cut. I won't accept this. Wait. Where are you going? I can't let you go until you promise to give Basil his photo album back. You thief. See, I told you the old people were like, what? Basil, isn't that the boy who I've seen Aubrey and her friends bully? Now she's stealing as well? Oops. You think you're the good guy, don't you, Kel? And I'm the big bad bully. Here to terrorize poor defenseless Basil. You're the one hanging out with the psychopath who carries around a knife! Now's not the time to do this, Aubrey. You don't get to say that! You're the one who barged in here! Y'all see, I'm getting in my voice acting bag. Is it hurting? A little bit. I already said I was sorry for everything. If you want me to be a bully, then I'll be a bully. Did she just pull out a gun? You, better, you two better come at me quick! Or I'll come at you first. Pause. Why do you have a bat in church? Look at our health bar. Let's see what happens if we just die. Maybe, maybe we weren't supposed to win. Look at her clothing. It's completely inappropriate for church. Bro, now's not the time to judge, dude. What are you talking about, dude? Why are you here? Kel is blacked out. Arbor takes 12 damage. I can't believe she would bring a weapon in here. How uncivilized. But why does Kel keep judging her like that, though? Oh wow, that healing didn't do. Jack did leave. Serves you right, Kel. Now, leave me alone. I just need to know if I'm supposed to win or not. Uh, ever since her father left, she's so uncontrollable. Disrespectful. I feel bad for her mother. This is getting juicy. Shoot! I know she's been kind of messed up lately, but I still feel sorry for her. Kel, I'm not gonna lie, you might have we you might have went about this the wrong way, Kel. I'm not even gonna hold you, dude. Even I think the the judgment was coming from the people inside the church. That's why I didn't say Kel above it. Maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe we should have just like talked to her after. And now she's judged in the place she thought was a safe space, which is even worse. What was that fade out? Look, that's a beautiful sunset. And Kel, where is my knife?
Well, let's go to her house. She lives around here. There's no response. Which house is hers? I don't know. This one? There's no response. Is it this one? There's no response. Kel, uh, what are we supposed to be doing right now? Oh, it's this one. Let's start with an apology. Oh, is that the photo album? We all need to sit down and talk about this. All four of us. And call Hero back from college. Did you see that? Arbus just dumped something in her trash can. Let's go check it out. I don't believe it. It's Basil's photo album. I can't believe she would just throw it out like that. It's a good thing we looked through her trash can. But on the bright side, at least we have Basil's photo album now. And it only took us half a day, too. Talk about teamwork. How about a high five, Sonny? I don't know, dude. It's like, yeah, we got that back, but there's some underlying issues that we have to discuss with the entire crew. You feel me? Like, why is Aubrey bullying Basil? I don't know. It's, but it's like Aubrey said something else was going on. Like, we're missing some. We have point A and we have point B, but we're missing everything in between. We're missing bullet point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But sure, I'll give you a high five. Damn. Let's give this back to Basil before it gets dark. He'll be happy when he sees it. Bro, I know you're in there. Why do you have a stop sign outside your house? Where does Basil live again? Found it. Why is there a cat on your roof? Like a Studio Ghibli film. Knock, knock. Basil, it's your friends, Kel and Sonny. Who are you? Who are you? Hi, Basil. Oh, wait. You're not Basil. I'm sorry. My name is Polly. Like pollen? Disgusting. I'm Basil's caretaker. What do you mean by that? Oh, hey, Kel. What is it? Hi, Basil. We got your photo album back. You did? Is Basil dying? Wow. Thank you. You gave Basil back his photo album. And Aubrey says she was protecting it. So let me put two and two together again. Oh, Mari is dead. Mari, you're here. You're you're gone. Bye-bye. R.I.P. We'll visit you soon. Hero, you're over here. You're at college. You're alive, but you're just not in the picture right now. Bye-bye. Send me a postcard. Basil is dying. That's why they said, oh, I'm his caretaker, not his parent, not his auntie, not his uncle, I'm his caretaker. And they also didn't recognize us, you feel me? If this was an aunt or a parent, they would know Sonny and they would know Kel. So I think Basil's sick. Aubrey took the book from Basil because Aubrey knows that Basil is dying. And she's like, if Basil dies, the photo album might not be safe and it holds all of our memories so I need to hold on to it I don't know this is getting juicy dude I can feel the wind just blowing on my booty crack would you like to join us for dinner depends what's on the menu I always seem to cook just a little too much dinner sure sounds delicious come on sonny free dinner I need a water. All this voice acting got my throat dry. Put me in a movie. Please make yourself at home. And I know y'all see it. I finally got it. Oh, hold up. I know y'all see it. I finally got a new cord for my Juggernaut mini fridge. You feel me? Yes, sir. Water's always on deck now, you feel me? You heard. 
Please make yourself at home. I'll go ahead and finish up the food. Why you got a checkerboard for a floor? Ah, that's crisp. Look at look at the condensation on it, y'all. Look at the look at how crisp it looks. You feel me? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know this is this is good. This is good. Uh, good cold water. Welcome to my review of Deer Park. <laughs> Wow, it's been a while since I've been here. You definitely have a lot more plants than you used to. How do you work that TV? That TV ain't even plugged into nothing. You, yeah, I like them a lot. Actually, there's some left still alive from when you guys came more often. Wow, you sure are dedicated. Yep, that's basil for you. Flowers and photos. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Uh, that's, uh, I don't know. It's been a while since you looked through them, hasn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. Fun. Um, sure. Basil, what are you hiding? Here it is. My first photo. It's my best friend Sonny trying out his new violin. He's starting to take lessons again so he can play it recitals with his sister Mari. Mari is my sister. Oh, okay. It's all clicking. So exciting. Just Kel being Kel. So many party hats. Sonny playing a video game on the couch. Sonny is a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I'm upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. We're back from the park. But Kel is still full of energy. He challenged Hero to an arm wrestling match, but we all know he's going to win, or who's going to win. Please go easy on him, Hero. Wow. Oof. Sorry, Kel. Better luck next time. Kel was still feeling a little sour about losing to Hero in an arm wrestling last night, so Hero decided to lean in for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. Okay, so Kel and Hero are brothers. <clears throat> Mari and Sunny are siblings as well. Got it. So this is Omari and Basil. Or Sunny and Basil. Me showing Sunny a book I've been reading. Mari stole my camera and took this when I was wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. Aww. It's all of us cuddling with sunny stuffed animals. He has so many, and they're all soft. I wish I could just lay here forever. Mari is teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Here's Sunny and Kel holding Mari's example. It looks perfect, doesn't it? If only Mari thought so too. Hero's still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. So how much older is Hero than everybody? Because it looks... Well... We know Kel is high school age, so I'm guessing... Sunny, Basil, and Aubrey are also around high school age. While Hero is a freshman in college. Hmm. It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere during springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her with her new raincoat. It's her favorite color, pink, like her hair. Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes the rain taste. Okay, you've been weird. Just Kel being Kel, again. We went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jacket outside. 
Oh, yeah, makes sense. Okay, that's Kel hanging from a tree. I wish I was as fearless as him. Okay, a beach day. This is another summer day. Yep. We buried Sonny in the sand. It took forever, but it looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's going to need help getting out. I guess I'll keep him company until then. Is it my birthday? Turning 12, okay. Even though me, Sonny, Aubrey, and Keller are the same school year, Sonny is younger than all of us. Okay, so we're all the same age. Sonny, Aubrey, Kel, and Basil are the same age, but Sonny is still younger. Okay. He's a baby of the group. Okay. A cat? Oh, a giant building block set. Sunny seems more interested in the box. Okay. This is the cat from the blank space. Mew Mew or whatever they said. Oh, so the, the, the blank space is this box. The blank space is this box where Sonny and, uh, Sonny and Muse find to have, kind of have their safe spot. <clears throat> oh, God. Goodbye, Summer. Until next year. I think I looked through all of them. Uh, let me double check. Uh, yeah, some of them are missing. And I can't click on them. I think Mari, or I think Aubrey took some. I wish I could read them. Yeah, I'm done. Oh man. It looks like a lot of photos are still missing. Maybe Aubrey kept them for herself. We'll have to get those back later. On the bright side, look how short I was. <laughs> I know I've grown at least a foot since Hero left for college. I can't wait until he comes back. This year, I'll finally be taller. I'll finally be the taller brother. Anyways, don't sweat about the missing photos, Basil. Me and Sonny will take care of things for you. You just focus on going back to your happy, carefree self. Okay, thank you. I'll try. But why didn't he want to show us? Sh sorry about the wait. Dinner is taking longer than I thought. Would any of you boys like to help? No, I don't. Okay, fine. Okay, me and Basil? Never mind, not me and Basil. Hi, Sonny. Okay, nothing to say. Let me save real quick. Chicken vegetable soup. How's that sound? Sounds delicious. You really think so? I was afraid you'd be a little disappointed. People always tell me that my taste is a bit bland. Don't worry about what other people think. All food is good to me. I'll eat anything you throw at me. Please feel free to make yourself at home. What if I go outside? Okay, I can't go outside. Jack Diddley. Okay, what do y'all want from me, though? Oh, 
Oh, I didn't even see this. This is a door. Who is this? Okay, this is Basil's grandma. Okay, so... Okay, Basil's grandma. The bathroom, okay. Nice. Jesus, why y'all got books on plants everywhere, dude? This is Basil's room. It looks really dusty. So he hasn't taken pictures in a long time. Okay, I think I... I think I explored everything. Most of them about gardening. W what is this here for? Nothing, okay. So this is his grandma's caretaker, I'm guessing. I thought she said she was specifically Basil's caretaker. A white orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Okay, that's nice. Is Basil about to kill me? Oh, Sonny, I didn't expect to see you in here. <laughs> How are you doing, Sonny? Is everything okay with you? Okay, never mind then. Grandma can't hear us, you know. She hasn't been feeling very well lately. It's already been four years, hasn't it? It's nice to see that you're still around. Even if it's only for a little while. Here, take my photo album. I want you to have it. I'm trusting you with it, okay? I just think you can probably use it more than me. Basil gave you his photo album. A lot has happened since these pictures were taken. Sometimes it feels like it was all a bad dream. It's hard to remember now, but I think... At the time, I took photos of what I was most afraid to lose. Flipping through this album, you can still see the good times. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. Damn, this game get it. This, this game get it. like it's trying to it's trying to gut punch you in the feels. You feel me? And here goes Kel yelling in someone else's house. Okay, coming. I guess I'll come too. Like, <laughs> don't really have a choice. Would you like to eat some? Yeah, dude. What do you think I've been here for? Everything tastes so good. You're the best, Polly. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just following grandma's recipes. Thanks for your help, Kel. So as I was saying before, Polly, tomorrow, my older brother Hero finally comes back from college. My mom's all crazy right now preparing the house and everything. Don't want to be anywhere near that mess. Although, I'm pretty excited to see him. Every time he comes back, the first thing we do is compare heights. Pause. That's not pause. This year is the year that I am finally going to be taller than him. I have a bad feeling that something's about to happen to Hero. I can feel it in my bones. Or maybe Omari doesn't die, but what if everybody around him dies? Whoa! That would be crazier. I'm putting the connections together. 
you and your brother seem close. See, they're emphasizing so much on hero. That's good. Family is important. Oh, hey. What you doing with Basil's photo album there, Sonny? Damn, can I have my own business? Oh. I, I gave it to him. I just thought he should have it. Whoa, really? That's so cool of you. Makes sense. Especially since Sonny's moving away and all. Oh, you didn't, you didn't know? Sonny's moving? Oh, yeah. I thought I already mentioned it. I must have forgot. See, Kelly, you're coming off kind of like the toxic friend now. Like, you was cool, but now you're kind of like, you know? I don't know. He's moving in three days, I think. Sorry, I thought you already knew. Oh. Uh, no. I guess I must have missed it. Sorry. Um, may I be excused? I... I have to go to the bathroom. And now Basil's going to go cry. See, I'm not trusting Kel. Something's off with Kel. I don't know what it is. What's up with him? See, look at how nonchalant he is about it. Well, that's just how it is. When you got to go, you got to go. Let's go check on Basil, dude. Uh, And where's the music? Why do I not get any music anymore? I don't want this type of music. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Oh, it's you. Sonny, can we turn on a light, bro? You're here. I'm so glad. You, you can see it too, can't you? Something behind you? No. What do you mean by that? Sonny, why? Why do you look so scared? Because I am, dude. Everything is going to be okay now, isn't it? Sonny, why? I'm leaving. Wait! Please, Sonny, don't leave me. Not again. Wait, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Sonny, what's wrong with you? Are you you're kind of like a dick. Oh, and now you're saying, nah, -uh, I'm not going back in there. Hey, uh, can y'all go check on Sonny? Something's going on. Oh, hey, Sonny. I mean, what's your name, Basil? Go check on Basil. I think it's about time we had went home. It's way past my curfew. So, yeah. Again, Polly, if you ever need me, Here's my address. Are you... Just, Sonny, are you not going to say anything? First off, he looks scared. Second off, his eyes were glowing. Thanks, Kel. You're sweet. It's nothing. Say goodbye to Basil for me. Basil does not look safe, dude. Basil! Oh, Basil! Aw, oh, poor guy. He's always had a... Bro, it's not about weak stomachs. Dude. We rip, bro. Bro. We literally saw this fool gr Why is she just What's Polly doing? Why is she playing defense on us? I really don't even remember where I live. Are we not going to talk about what just happened with Basil? With how dark this game is getting? I know what they're insignifying. Which one is my house? I don't want to go home. Can I sleep over at Joe Crib? Is this my house? Wait, hold up, Sonny. I know it's been a while since you've been over. Okay, so this is... Okay. Is this my house? Hey, Sonny. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Sorry for all that trouble. That was a pretty crazy adventure, huh? I can tell you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but that's okay. 
It just takes practice. Anyway, Hero's coming back from college tomorrow, so I'm sure he'll want to see you before you leave. So if you don't mind, I'll be coming back for you again in the morning. Good night, Sonny. Sweet dreams. What is going on? I heard that. And all this because my mama want to go get furniture at a discount. Who is eating in my ear, dude? Ooh, what is that? Ooh, what's going on? Do I need to call the infestation? A giant spiderweb blocks the doorway? Ugh, do I need to call like... What is up with you and knives, dude? What am I stepping in? Ooh, what was that? What's going on? Sonny, you don't want to say anything about this. You just want to like... I literally can't see that. Was that an octopus? I see you over here. I see you, but I can't touch you. Pause. Ugh, I got chills in my body again. What is going on with this game? Why are these stairs so long? Yuck. Get out of my face, Peter Parker. Isn't it... Isn't it crazy Spider-Man be... Like... Did I just die? Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, why am I, I why am I getting stabbed by spiders and how do I stop it? Ugh, now my head itch. What are you doing? Crying? We got like half the stairs to go. Dude. Okay, uh, Sonny, I'm a I know you don't talk, but I need you to communicate. You feel me? Cause I don't like is it Ugh, what are you? Are you my dad? I, I can't move y'all. I can't move. I can't move y'all. I'm trying. I'm trying. Y'all hear me? Oh, I can't. Oh, no, it's not me. Oh, no, it is me. Who are you, sir? Is that Mari? Ooh, this is making my tummy hurt. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I think I blinked and missed most of the animation, to be honest. Okay, that one wasn't scary, though. I am so... Oh, he's afraid. I don't think I've ever seen him with this emotion. Bro, can you calm yourself down? Afraid is not going to be good to attack. Okay, neutral. That's... Okay, I'd rather be neutral than afraid. That's on his, okay, great. Ooh, what did he just do? He just came to my ear! Yuck! This is getting nowhere fast, huh, Sonny? Who are you? Bro, stop shooting in my ear, dude. What, do you wanna run away? I can't, I literally just had to, like... Stop putting webs on me. What am I supposed to be doing? It seems like there's a lot going on. You need to block out a l the little things and figure out what's important. You clear your mind and you remember how to focus. Something is trying to talk to you? I literally can't do anything. Oh, focus. Sunny, focus. I was about to be there all day trying to attack. I don't remember which one's my bedroom. Never mind. A very comfortable bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Yeah, let's sleep the night away. Let's get a nightlight. Uh, is this Mari? Ew, plants. Who is texting me? 
What does that say? I can't even read that. Go to sleep after a long day. Okay, so this is Mari. Oh, my sister. Did you steal the cat from our... What the fuck was that? Welcome to White Space. Oh, no, not again. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. Don't put me back here, please. Don't put me back here, please. Don't, please. Okay, so now I know you. You're uh, Aubrey's cat that I stole. Yep, right. Right, right, right. Can I, can I leave? And then I'm back in the, the dream world, the death world, whatever it's called. Okay, Amari isn't dead. Amari, this is just a dream world. This is a dream world where he's imagining all of his friends back together with the little things that they used to do, aka the, the Captain Space Boyfriend Pirate video game. And the reason it looks so crazy is because he's trying to think of it of childhood and childhood imagination that's why the space looks like that because amari might not actually know what space looks like and he doesn't want to picture the eternal blackness whose mask is that see hero i told you not to worry amari amari shows up what amari always shows up when we need him is everything okay amari we were worried about you now that you're here, let's go out and look for Basil. He's counting on us. But why is Basil not here? We have to make sure Amari is okay first. Or maybe you and Hero can go yourselves. I don't trust you, you little conniving bitch. Come on, Amari. Let's explore together. Just the two of us. Hey, you can't leave us out of this. He's right, Aubrey. We have to do things together as a team. We never know when you'll need someone's help. We're stronger when we work together. Omar and I will be fine on our own. I don't trust you. I don't trust any of you anymore. You'll protect me, won't you, Omari? Ew, gross. Get a room. Come on, Aubrey. It's time to get serious now. Let's go tell Omari that Omari... What? Let's go tell Mari that Omari is okay. You know how she always worries about him because she's my sister. Okay, okay, fine. I was just trying to have a little fun. And that's why Aubrey's weapon is literally a baseball bat. Okay, that's a pillow. Give me my allowance. Damn, I'm really big out here balling, dude. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, new song? Hi, Mari. Look, Omari is here. Yes, yeah, sister, I'm here. Stop disappearing like that. You know my heart can't take it. You're not real. Sorry. Sorry, not appropriate. Hmm. There's still no sign of Basil? Where could he be? We're not sure. We've been looking for him everywhere, and still, nothing. Uh, I hope Basil is okay. I miss him so much. 
Yeah, I miss hearing him talk about the stuff he's into. Like all the flowers and stuff. And that photo stuff. And the art stuff. And the reading stuff. Kel. Cut it, cut it out. My hair is so tangly. I miss when Basil used to brush my hair. Amari, will you brush it for me? No, I won't. <laughs> like, unless you want me to do it with a knife. Well, I miss when Basil used to remind me to wash my- Back away from me. Kel, you should probably wash your hands anyway. Everyone, I know it's tough right now, but we have to stay positive. Yeah, so Mari's the glue that kept the group together. We should all try to be like Basil. Even when Basil is upset, he always manages to smile. So, is there anywhere you haven't checked yet? Well, there is a forest west of the stump, but it's gross and full of spiders. Ugh, spiders. Well, you know what that means. You coming with us? Once again, it's time to face your fears, little brother. And that means you too, hero. Come on, big bro. You can't back out now. It's just like how it is with Omari. Where we're here to support you all the way. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Don't worry, guys. If anyone or anything tries to hurt you, I'll smash it out the way. You can count on me. Don't forget about me. I'll always be here to help too. Bro, you are literally a safe spot. <laughs> you don't help us with nothing, dude. I mean, yeah, she gives us candy, so she's our medic, I guess, whatever. Yeah, we can do this together. Let's go force west of the stump. Lead the way, Amari. But that is what we will do next time. We are on, I guess this is chapter three days left. Almost eight hours into this game. Honestly, I was not expecting to put this many hours in. This is... Omari really is like a sleeper gym, you feel me? And I, I've been seeing that it has like a little niche community on like Reddit and, and Twitter and all that. But yeah, man, I, 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 I can understand it so far. It's getting deeper. It's getting philosophical. I already told you all my theories. I think what we're in right now, this little purple world, is Sunny's dream world, right? Where all of his friends can be together and they're still in that child child-like phase you feel me before life gets real you know heroes off at college mari dies we don't know how she dies basil is dealing dealing with serious anxiety and depression sunny just don't talk i don't know well we know he sees things too so he's dealing with his own stuff and kel i don't know sometimes kel is cool sometimes kel comes off a little like toxic almost kind of like manipulative at times and maybe it's just him being a kid but i'm excited to see how this game goes i'm excited to see how they're gonna pull everything together in this game but hey man if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers if you're into movie reactions go check out the movie reaction channel i just posted friday the 13th and alien and rush hour 2 is going up so if you're into that i'll leave a link in the description below but with that being said i'll see y'all in the next episode peace